Hello everyone and welcome to my first tutorial of After Effects and uh, probably it's going to be the last because I'm just doing this uh, uh, I don't know, I'm not an expert in After Effects but uh, I got this project that they asked me to create a ribbon sphere in After Effects which was uh, the idea of it uh, was to create it like being uh, animated from the bottom to the top and uh, well just let me show you what I mean So that's it, and uh, I'm doing this because uh, I didn't know how to create it in 3D and I uh, had no idea to uh, to do that and I was looking for tutorials and I couldn't find uh, any. So uh, I'm doing this so you guys can see how it's done and uh, it's very basic, but maybe you can find it useful. So, uh, okay, let's go to After Effects. All right, uh, once in After Effects, first thing we're gonna be creating is a new composition, okay? And uh, you can do it like the size you want. I'm gonna do it like a HGTV 720, uh, 25. And uh, create it like 10 seconds long, it's okay. Okay, hit okay. All right, so the first thing we're gonna be creating is the shape of the sphere. And uh, the way we do that, it's just selecting this uh, round rectangle tool and drawing a shape here on the top like that and make sure to make it bigger than the size of the composition you're gonna see why in a few seconds just wait for it okay so we have this and uh, we're gonna add a linear white effect to it okay the way uh, the reason why we're adding this uh, linear white effect it's uh, for the animation so we go here to the first frame and set the stopwatch for the completion. Make sure to make it 100 first. Stopwatch, move it on the timeline like one second or so, and uh, click zero. Okay. So what we have here it's uh, this thing, this shape uh, being generated. Uh, the thing I don't like is the angle because it's 90 degrees, and I want it to be uh, it. I want it to be more dynamic. So let's do it in 45 okay so like that it's nice enough so um okay we have to do like a couple of shapes like this one so just duplicate it command d or control d on windows and move it down delete collides with the other one uh, click p for position p for position and uh move it plus 20, 75 pixels on the y axis okay and uh, just basically do the same as you cover the whole thing plus 75 and you duplicate move p for position plus 75 pixels on the y and the last one here plus 75 okay so we have our bars here and uh, the reason why we do that is, uh, let me show you first we have to do a precomp so click layer uh, precompose move all the attributes okay nice now we click here and look for CC sphere effect and we add it to our pickup. Okay, so we have our sphere, all right, but it's not the shape we want to, to get because, like, all the lines are separated. And the way we fix this is just clicking on the pickup, selecting all our shapes, then selecting the rotation tool or W and moving them. If you want to see the values, uh, just with all them selected, just hit R, and you can see the angle. And I'm gonna move them approximately into seven degrees or so, and see what we get. All right, so it's not the exact science. So the thing is that you we're getting these. 
uh, non continuous bars. So how we fix this? Let's go back to our pickup and move them and check again. Okay, so this may take a while, so let me do all that stuff and uh, come back to you in a sec. Okay, so here we are again uh, with our sphere and it looks right, it looks perfect, right? So in the end, uh, my values were like around eight degrees. I moved the uh, those shapes a little bit up and a little bit to the left. So now everything looks kind of nice. Okay, moving on. So now we have our sphere, okay? Uh, but we are going to create the background because like this is kind of sucky. Select layer, new, solid, and uh, make it comp size, the color doesn't matter because we're going to add a round effect. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. To it. Okay. And uh, I want it to be radial, radial round, and move it to the center. Just Make the first color white and the second color like gray. So change the RAM scatter to 100. Here, like that. So it's more diffuse. Red. Maybe here. Okay. So now we have our background. Uh, next thing we're going to change is the sphere itself. Because well, you can always change these values, like light and shading of the CC sphere, but, uh, well, now I kind of like them. The only thing I don't like is the color and the perfection of the sphere. I wanted to make it more rough. And the way you do that is just uh, with the texture. So we go to project. Uh, well, first we go to uh, internet. And uh, we go to uh, Google Images and look for a texture. In my case, I just was looking for a branch texture. So... Uh, I took this second one, I thought it was kind of okay. And uh, well, we go back to After Effects, double click here on the project panel, and select your texture, click open, and bring it here. Okay. So once we have it here, uh, the thing we need to do is like create a mat for our sphere. So I just select toggle switches modes, and on track mat, just hit luma mat pre pump. That way, what we're creating is like everything that's outside our shape or everything that's not our shape just gets obscured. Uh, we don't see it. And the thing we see is the thing we, we, that is inside our shape. So uh, you can see the, the result here. Uh, the thing that it's kind of, I mean, it's good, but uh, we can make it better. The way we can make it better, it's selecting again the CC sphere effect in moving it to our texture. So now we gain like the texture itself and all the lighting of the sphere that we can change in the future. So make sure to do something because uh, if you go to the comp and you move your sphere, you know, it's going to be masked by your map. So the thing that I was telling you to do is taking this icon, this speed whip, and moving it to the composition. That way our texture is going to move with our sphere. Well, once we have uh, the texture of our sphere, we need to animate it. The way we set the keyframes before um, doesn't make any sense because our sphere is animating like that and we want it to be animated from the bottom to the top. So uh, we fix that just by hitting U on the first one and the second. The thing we want to achieve is here, when this first bar or shape it's almost to the end of the completion, we want the next one to be on the start. Okay? So we go to this one, to the second one, and we offset it in a way we can see it starting when the other one is ending. We do the same with the next ones. First, we move here forward in time and like that. We move again. 
stay on the point where our last one is almost finished and move the next one to the point where it's almost starting. And here is the last one. Like that. So now we have to check if uh, everything is okay or we have to tweak it a little bit more because maybe there is some delays maybe here. Could be like one or two dropped keyframes. Not here, not here, and not here. So everything seems to be fluid and okay. So that's the first time it happens like that, but uh, to me, but if you have any problems, just tweak these values like that, move them forward or backwards in time. So you don't get like, um, like a bar that stops and then the next one starts like a couple of frames before because you want it to be fluid. So we have it like that. So next thing we have to do, it's like, uh, well, in my first, uh, first animation, I set the rotation to 90. That way I could, we could see like the animation being generated from the bottom of it. And we go here to where it starts. We set a keyframe for rotation on X. And we move forward in time. And uh, when it finishes, we set it to zero. Okay? Well, um, Maybe it's better to let it, to leave the animation a little bit more forward in time so we can see the spiral and then, you know, so that way it seems like it's just two dimensional and then we see that it's really well, even if it's simulated 3D. And uh, one thing we can do is go here in the start of the animation and set a keyframe for rotation Y on the CC sphere effect and move in time again and when it finishes we can do like that so that way our sphere is rotating on the y-axis to here all right well your computer is probably going to be better than mine but uh, you get the idea right all right Okay, cool. Nice. So the thing that I want to do now, it's, uh, I kind of like it, but I would like to make it more, um, not so perfect. So there's an effect called roughen edges that we can add here. And you see, like, the edge of our shape, it's distorted. And uh, we can change the value of the border to 20. From here to the start, we hit you again to see where your keyframe is. So the keyframe for the border, we move here to the end and set it to zero. So that way we end with a perfect shape. And we start with a shape like that. Maybe you want to leave it, you know, like distorted. It's kind of cool. So you guys play with uh, those values are. Uh, this is a pretty cool effect, so uh, you can achieve multiple variations of the thing we're doing here. All right, so we have this sphere, and the next thing we're going to be doing is adding some text. So we we'll come here, select the text tool, click here, and let something skip it, like simplicity, and make it. Bolt. Maybe a little bit bigger. Move it to the center, like that. Okay, good to get it. Over here. And we're gonna write something like makes, makes it better. What does make it better? I don't know, but it makes it better. So I'll change it to light. Maybe a little bit smaller and move it to the center. 
something like that where you can just keep this value and relax well something like that you get the idea right okay so what we can do now just hit you see where the animation is ending or maybe move a little bit you know before in time maybe move this a little bit down like that okay and set keyframes for the opacity so just put this to zero if you have both them selected uh, they would have been a change so click for the stopwatch move it forward in time like that and select them again and set it to 100 okay so uh, let's check it out what we have so far well so uh, basically we did what we wanted to do uh, it's pretty basic but we created an ribbon sphere we animated it so you know it seems like it's 2d and then turns out to be that it's 3d well not 3d but you know and uh well it's pretty basic we could always play with uh, some of the uh, cc sphere settings like uh, light shading and i remember we have uh, two cc spheres here so we could play with both of them we could change the color with adding some curves playing with the text adding some glows or shadows on this sphere again adding camera moving you know panning or zooming in zooming out and uh, lots of stuff so uh yeah basically that was it uh, we could complicate it more but remember that uh, simplicity makes it better always so uh so far that's it i hope you guys liked it i hope it was useful for you or enjoyed it uh, we covered like some basic effects but you know we we got what we wanted so i'm pretty happy with it uh, it taught me many things so i hope you learn a little bit from it and uh well maybe you guys see you later in the next tutorial video if there is one so uh thanks for watching and uh, goodbye